She's known as the goddess of pastry, written the Bibles of baking, and her desserts are heaven-inspired. She's Rose Berenbaum. It's the Pie and Pastry Bible on Home Cooking with Amy Coleman. She's been called a scientist, a magician, even a pastry prophet. And she's with us today bringing some incredible delights from her newest book, The Pie and Pastry Bible. Welcome, Rose. Thanks, Amy. How are you? I'm great. It's great incredible. to be here. Pie dough, three ingredients, flour, salt, water. And yet you spent two years making hundreds of variations. How yeah, isn't come? it interesting that three little ingredients can get people into so much trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Join best-selling cookbook author Rose Levy Berenbaum as she explores Little India and prepares her favorite recipe for tandoori chicken. It's all coming up next on Rose's Melting Pot. This is our finished dish. Isn't it beautiful with the red chicken, the golden basmati rice, the green pistachios, and the roasted green chilies, and cilantro? I think it captures all the beauty and the flavor and fragrance of India. I'm Rose Levy Berenbaum. I hope you've enjoyed this taste of the cuisine and culture of India. She published the best-selling Cake Bible 10 years ago. Rose Levy Berenbaum has been concentrating on her next volume of work, the Pie and Pastry Bible. Rose, good to see you. You too, Matt. This is uh, 10 years in the making. At least. This took a lot of research. There are a lot of pies and tarts. They're really People do. at home are thinking, on my first try with one of these pies, it's going to come out great. That's ridiculous. But it's still going to be delicious. But you do need to go through the process of learning, especially with mm -hmm. the crust, learning how the feel of the dough should be and things like that. Yeah, you just keep getting better and better the more you do. And in the meantime, you get to eat all your Mistakes, triumphs. which is correct. <laughs> Eric? Good morning, Rose. How Good are you morning. doing? Good morning. Just great, Eric. How are you? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Now, what's this about bringing a gorgeous tart to my next Christmas party? That's what you're going to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hope I'm going to be doing if you tell me how to make a, a tart. I sure will. I promise. <laughs> Rose Levy Berenbaum is here this morning, and her new book, Rose's Christmas Cookies, can make expert cookie bakers of us all. I'll believe it when mm. I see it. These are the super, super easy ones. These are the no dough, no flour. Simply cornflakes and marshmallows and butter make these little wreaths. Are they tasty? And red hots. Yeah, they taste weedy and sticky and sweet. And you can Yum. even use them as jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Earrings, right? They get even more delicious, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> and these are also drop cookies or shaped cookies. They're I've little lion's claws. Like you can oh. see the little claws, the nuts right. form the claws. And actually, um. the knuckles are chocolate chips. Yum. They're inside. Kids just adore these. Are these easy for children to make, or would you no, suggest they're easy they stick to help. with the, the, the no-bake kind as far as getting kids to participate? I think so. Kids can do just about anything, but you don't want to give them things that are too technical, so just have them help with the more difficult cookies. They can help you add the, the flour and things like that. Lick the spoon. <laughs> <laughs> they love that. These have three different types of chocolate. Milk, dark chocolate, and white for the chocolate lover. And they're made in pans, and then they're just cut afterwards. Low which cal, makes right? it very quick. All of them are low cal. <laughs> you don't need too many. <laughs> well, Rose Levy Berenbaum has done it again with this magnificent cookbook all about Christmas cookies. We'll show it to you later. But you join us with such cheer. How are you doing? Finally. Good to great. see you. Thank you. It's great to be back. What's Santa's favorite cookie? All of them. But maybe <laughs> <laughs> the Mrs. King's Irresistibles. It's the oh. chocolate chip par excellence. Oh. Granola and oatmeal. Oh, he yummy. He told me that last year. He told you? Yeah, okay. I think this is a perfect gift for Christmas because it's something you make, so it's really from the heart. I'm very personal. <laughs> you see, I started off not knowing how to cook at all. And that's a very good advantage if you write recipes because you know what it's like to know nothing. And I don't leave anything to chance. I have all the information there, but not so that it trips you up in the middle of the recipe. That's what my little smart cookie section is for. So if you need a little extra help, it's there, but you can sail through the recipe without any things in your way if you should choose to. Well, now you said you didn't know how to cook, but you've got a cooking school now. Well, I did. You I had did? it for 11 years. Well, I'm talking about when I was 20 and got married for the first time, and I had never cooked before in my life. My first pie was from The Joy of Cooking. It was called Angel Pie, and it turned chartreuse green. Oh! <laughs> no angel, this pie. Tis the season for eating, and what better way to celebrate the holidays than with a specially decorated cake? Some of them make great gifts, or if you can't make one yourself, you can give a book on how to make them to someone who can. There is one cookbook this year that is getting special attention for its somewhat revolutionary approach to making cakes. It's called The Cake Bible, and it is written by Rose Levy Berenbaum, a woman who has researched the behavior of cake ingredients. In fact, she may know more about cakes than anyone else and know everything there is to know about cakes. 
We'll see some of her delectables in just a few moments, but we're pleased to talk to her first and to get a sense of how one person becomes so expert at the whole art and understanding of cakes. Welcome. Thank you, Charlie. Do you take great pride in the number of calories you create? Uh, <laughs> you sure know how to stop a girl from talking. <laughs> oh, they say, you know what we need to do? We need to open up a chain of stores called Rose's Cakes. You're right, Charlie Rose and Rose Rose. That's right. Why don't we do that? Would you like to go in business together? I think this is the beginning of a great I new do too. enterprise. That's right. Who's going to do the baking and who's going to do the uh, whatever I, else? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'll be. Would you mind? I'll be the janitor. <laughs> what is your favorite all-time, top of the mountain, penultimate cake? Chocolate or, or vanilla? Uh, yeah, chocolate. I think I would have to say the chocolate oblivion truffle tour. Chocolate. Chocolate. chocolate oblivion truffle you know, tour. <laughs> it's in the book. Yeah. There are only three ingredients, chocolate, right. eggs, and butter. Yeah. It takes 10 minutes to make, 10 minutes to bake, and it is the perfect way of eating chocolate. Thank you. Much success. Thank you, Charlie. Pleasure to have you. I got... ah, we should kiss each other, then. We both have chocolate lips. Ah, it's wonderful for the skin. <laughs> Night life <laughs> continues. We'll be back. Stay with us. <laughs> <laughs>